Make sure I have this straight. You're not involved with Brenda. No. But you might be interested in picking up where we left off, but reserve the right to break things off with me at the drop of a hat if Brenda decided she wanted to be with you after all. When you put it that way, it makes me sound like an ass. Yeah, well, I, and I sound like a second choice. Yeah, but that's not how I meant it. I'm just trying to be honest because I care. About me or Brenda? Do I have feelings for Brenda? Yeah, but it, but it doesn't matter because it's not going to... It, it never works out with her, and she doesn't. She she doesn't want to try again. Oh, okay. Well, that must be very painful for you to accept. You know what I'm happy about? That we're here tonight, enjoying each other, and that you invited me to dinner. I didn't ask you to dinner. You asked me. I know it was dropped off at my office earlier, and it was from you inviting me to dinner. And I got a similar note at the PCPD, only it was from you asking to meet me here. It was Carly. All right. Yeah. All right. I know. Uh, yeah, she's been worried that, I, that I'm going to go after Michael again to pay you back for breaking things off. And she's been pushing for me to make it right. And I explained to Carly it was a bluff. I have no intention of putting Michael back in Pentonville. Apparently, she doesn't believe me. I'm sorry. I'm not. Carly uh, arranged something that I couldn't do myself, ask you out, because I didn't know how you were going to react. Can I call you? I'd like that. OK, I'll see you there. Where are we going? Well, I'm, I'm going to meet with someone who uh, may be able to help me figure out the connection between Brenda and the Balkan. But you're staying here, Siobhan. No, listen, okay, I'm going to go with listen you. Listen to me. You're supposed to be dead, okay? The Balkan's men see you. They'll know I can't be trusted. And you, now might be a good time to remind your staff that discretion is, is key to remaining employed. If the servants were spying, it would be for Helena. Siobhan is of no consequence to them. I don't like being talked about as if I'm not in the room. Any more than I like being parked at your brother's house like an inconvenient package. I'm coming with you. It's not an option. My life, my decision. Remember? I can't do this job if I'm worried about keeping you safe. Do you understand that? Now look, please, stay with Nicholas. You ride? Horses. <laughs> yes. There are several down in the stables. You're welcome to any of them. No, oh, thanks. I prefer to run using my own two legs than to be thrown on something with fire. Okay. In that case, there is a treadmill in the gym along with tennis and squash courts. <laughs> squash? You play? Never heard of it. Let alone anyone with his own court. Yeah, well, I guess that uh, I've lived somewhat of a privileged life. So how many people do you share this place with? Uh, let's see. My son, Spencer. A cook, a butler. And two maids, all in the nanny, and a semi-permanent house guest who's away visiting her family right now. What about Spencer's mother? She died uh, shortly after giving birth to him. Sorry. Thank you. So anyway, you and Lucky will be staying in the East Wing. I'll have the maid make up adjoining suites for you. You don't have to go to all this trouble. Just want you to be comfortable. You've known me all of two minutes. Why would you care how I'm feeling? Because Lucky has had a difficult year. And it's 
been a while since he seemed like himself until now. And if you're responsible for that, I appreciate it. Did anyone in the world who might turn out to be Lucky's brother? Probably the last person I would have picked. Oh, that's a good thing. I hope so too.